What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna take a look at Horizon Forbidden West here on SteamOS and a quick look at Windows as well, cause hey, we're here, why not? And we'll take a look at how the game is running here. There's not really a lot of headroom or leadway to mess around with a lot of settings. So we'll just kind of get in here and take a look at performance. Now, when it comes to SteamOS here on the Steam Deck, the game isn't verified or anything like that, but I personally haven't had any crashes in about six hours of game playing, getting into the game or anything like that. So that's pretty decent. Now getting into the settings, of course, 800p, 16.10 here, and dynamic resolution scaling is off for now, but we'll talk about that. FSR 2.2 on balanced seems to be the way to go, and then the low preset with textures on medium, and then all the little extras on the bottom like depth of field and uh, motion blur and all that I do have turned off for the testing here. And in the beginning of the game, the performance is pretty good and frame times are pretty flat but in this area that i was kind of in was a lot of draw distances blocked and things like that it looks gorgeous but it certainly was not the kind of performance i was getting kind of later on in the game this game really does kind of bounce between 20 and 40 20 and 45 fps with these settings depending on where you're at and what you're doing so as we get to the top of this hill here and we get ready to zip line down, you'll see a big change in performance as we move around here. So 36, 38, we're gonna jump on here and then of course, we're gonna move in and have some dips. Now, this game does pre-compile some shaders, but not all. There are some shader compilation things happening in the background on the CPU threads while we're playing. And I think that the four core eight thread here in the Steam Deck does kinda feel that more than some of the other systems or main desktop PCs I've been playing the game on here at launch and testing it out. So that's probably what some of that is. But but then besides that, we are also GPU bound when the CPU is able to kind of keep up or do things, especially out here as we're about two hours into the game and more into a bit more of the open world here. It is a little bit more sporadic and oftentimes just kind of hovering around in the 30s, which actually is pretty good here. Now, they do have that dynamic um, resolution scaling that I was talking about that might be something that would interest you. This is getting better in games that used to be pretty horrible and introduce a lot of stutter, but in this game it's implemented pretty well. And if you use that with FSR 2 there, it's going to allow you to go anywhere from native all the way down to like a performance or ultra performance. It'll automatically dynamically change things. So you get a crisper image here when you have some overhead and things are running pretty well. But of course, if you get into the busy areas or you're moving around, it's instantly going to start to lower that resolution and change things automatically and bring it back in with the lack of overhead here that can introduce a little bit of stutter I've noticed in this game versus on my desktop PC but the option is there if you want to go that route and then we'll go back to the FSR2 balanced here without any of the dynamics so just something that you might want to be aware of or mess with here if you're kind of playing with your settings on the Steam Deck now we do want to take a look at this little first town area I've been to a couple of these and performance in these areas where there's more NPCs and stuff like that often will take a hit which is kind of the case here but I'm kind of just going to say the same thing. This game runs in the 20s and 30s most of the time, depending on where you're at and what you're doing here on the Steam Deck. And I did want to go ahead and do like a 30 FPS cap just to flatten out those frame times and see how it felt. And honestly, I really didn't prefer this. It wasn't that much better to me. The deck is handling the variable refresh just fine. The game's not stuttery to me, even though, um, you know, the frame rates aren't that high. So when you get into combat, you're almost always down in the 20s anyway. So 30 FPS wasn't really for me, but you could certainly lock it that way if you wanted to. Now, most of the combat I've experienced in the game so far here on Steam OS runs anywhere from 20 to 30 FPS uh, for the most part. It's not great, uh, obviously, and you do have to do a lot of things with dodge and combat here, but in my five, six hours of really kind of playing around, I haven't really had that much trouble. It's not great, but I haven't had like mega stutters that really caused me to to die or have a problem, no crashes or anything like that. So kind of take that as you will and judge for yourself if you're gonna be able to play that. But let's move over and take a look at Windows real quick. Now some games on Windows actually do run better than SteamOS, but this isn't one of those games. It often is quite a few FPS lower than what we were getting over on SteamOS. Frame times are still pretty decent, it feels fairly smooth, hasn't crashed, no major stutters, but it's just generally lower performance. Now I do have four gigs of VRAM set in Windows just like I do over on SteamOS, but it's not showing properly in my overlay here. I'm having all kinds of issues here since the last updates with the overlay, but I cared about the FPS and frame times more. And you see the same kind of dips and issues here as we move around the same area that we were moving around over on steam os still smooth enough not crashing not stuttering or giving me problems but just in general much lower fps than we were getting before 
same thing in this first like same village town area kind of similar performance in a way um, not too much different than what we we're getting over on Steam Deck maybe a few more hiccups and stutters or uh, lower lows lower average lows than we're getting over on Steam OS now this combat area the same one that I was in on Steam OS actually held very similar FPS which I was surprised but again lower lows so we saw 20 21 versus like 24 25 over on steam os and similar in this area too so you know windows and steam os i'm kind of like in the 20s during combat no matter what at least in my first uh four to six hours with the game and when i'm not in combat and in other areas it can smooth out and get higher 30s maybe 40s but this is in general just the performance of the game but Definitely Windows just isn't handling this game, and it's not that surprising as well as SteamOS, but you just never know until you check these out on the Steam Deck, which is a lot of fun to do, and I know a lot of you guys do run Windows on the Steam Deck, but SteamOS is definitely doing better here for this game. Hopefully some updates. This is just launch. will even help bring more performance and smooth this out. The Steam Deck always does surprise me in the end with these games. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.